Hey everybody, welcome to Wagered on Tilt. I am T, and today we're doing part two of our NHL predictor. Again, it's called an NHL predictor, but that doesn't mean it can only be used for the NHL. You can use this model for a lot of different ones because we're combining models and different statistics and things like that. If you want to build this thing exactly as I am, just follow the tutorials, put them on the exact rows, the exact formulas, and everything should work. If you have any issues, feel free to drop a comment and I'll try and help you out. So around this, remember, you don't need to only use it for hockey. You can use it for football or anything like that. One caveat, though, is the P-score modeling. Remember, that only works for things in increments of one. So do not do it for things like football games where scores can change by two, three, seven, six points, anything like that. This can work great also for soccer, if you know your soccer stats. This could work for MLB. This could work for, again, anything in increments of one is where you can use that P-score model. But you also can use a lot of this other data to go ahead and create a great dashboard. Let's go ahead and get to collecting these statistics and dive in. Okay, everybody, so now is time for us to go ahead and start collecting our statistics. So the first place we're going to want to go to get away and home uh, statistics is going to be naturalstattrick.com. For our advanced team statistics and goalie statistics, we are going to be using hockeyreference.com. First up, we're going to grab natural stat trick stats. So in here, we're going to go ahead and set the filter, and I'm going to say that it's against away teams for the 2021 to 2022 season against all teams and we're going to keep it as a 5v5 and i'm going to go ahead and hit run once you hit that filter go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and choose copy all and we'll go ahead and paste it starting on row a2 we can go ahead and delete out this column here and now we have the home statistics and as you'll see, there's a bunch of different stats in there that we're going to be needing to use. Next, you're going to go ahead and scroll on down and start on row 38. And we're going to come in here and we're just going to change out this filter one time. So now we're going to say it's when those teams were home, which means that our stats are going to be for when the team is away. Same thing. Scroll to the bottom. Copy all. Come back into our sheet. Now that you have that in there, you're going to go ahead and delete this info here. Make sure that we're putting this on row 38. Insert one row above, great. Now from here, go ahead and type in away. Next, let's go back to the top of this sheet and start to scroll over here. And we're gonna go ahead and look for goals four on here. All right, there's goals four. So we're gonna need to go ahead and add in a new statistic. So we're gonna go ahead and insert one column to the left. Perfect. Now that we have that, we're just going to go ahead and type in here GF slash AVG, enter, and now we have that title right there. What that's going to do is allow us to set up the values that we need to take averages of. So we're going to do equals S3, which is the goals for, divided by B3, which is going to be the games played. And we'll let it copy it all down. Scroll to the bottom of our field. And we'll type in equals average from here down to there and hit enter. Now that we have that, we're going to do that for the next section as well, right? Because again, we have the stats that need to pop in here. So if I scroll back over here so that everybody can see, we're going now to the away stats and it's going to be the same thing where we're going to say S39 divided by B39 because all these columns and rows should line up. All right, so then we're going to need another average, and that average is going to be goals against. Insert this one is to the right. That way we get our goals against on the left. Goals against AVG. And then this one we are going to do U3 equals U3 divided by B3. All right, and we're going to hit OK. And then all we're going to do is copy this formula for the average over, because now it's just going to copy the next one. There we go. All right, so what you can do is again, copy this, paste it here. Make sure that the numbers up in here in the tool are saying that it's uh, U39 divided by B39. Copy that, and then we're just going to take to the bottom and paste that one in. So I'm going to scroll over so you can see that a little bit better. Paste that in. Great. Now that we have it, it's the goals against AVG. So then we're going to have some more averages we need to do. Scoring chance four. So right here, and we're going to go ahead and just hit insert left. Scoring chances for AVG equals AA2, sorry, 3, divided by 
B3. And again, this is scoring chances four per game. Hit sure autofill, and we'll just copy and paste this one over. And of course, you're going to do the same thing again here. So we're going to paste. This is scoring chance four AVG. Copy this one over. Come up with it. The average. Yeah. Then you're going to need scoring chance against average. So this is scoring chance against AVG. Same thing. Equal AC3 divided by B3. Copy and paste this one over. Your average. And we're going to do the same thing here. Equal. AC 39 divided by D39. Sure, autofill. So we've got that stat in there now. And again, you don't need to use these statistics. Um, you can always modify these however you want. So here on the team advanced statistics, we have nothing. That's totally fine. We're going to now start collecting that information we need. And that's going to come from hockeyreference.com. So here we've got team statistics, Eastern Conference, team 5v5, and things like that. So we're going to take the 5v5 statistics here, where it's got the shot, the Corsi, the Fenwick, and things like that, because these stats are going to be helpful. Take those statistics, drop them in on your page, starting in cell A1. As always, remove those links. Um, don't want to bounce out into a different website. Remove links. And I'm just going to leave that there because I think I might actually need to delete one more set of rankings. So I'm not going to bother taking out that column just yet. So after we've done that, now we need to go ahead and grab the next thing that we're going to need, which is going to be other statistics from the exact same page, exact same page. So we're good. So you come up here and this is per game and here you'll see special teams. This is going to be for the advanced statistics dealing with things around like power play goals and things like that. Copy this. So you're going to copy and paste this data in. Um, this pasted down a little too low. So let's go ahead and get it starting with the headers on row 37. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete these rows real quick. Oops, one too many, I think. No, that's right. Okay, perfect. So now that we have this information in there, starting on row 37, again, I like to keep a little bit of a space. Um, that way I have bots for my averages. can get rid of this rankings column. Just highlight it and click delete column. All right, now that that's gone, we'll come up to the top and be able to just take a quick peek at some of the statistics that we've got. Right, we've got Corsi, we got Fenwick, we got scoring chances, we got a lot of data in here. Um, and it's all relevant and useful data, so there's no reason to get upset if you're like, man, that's just a lot of numbers. It is a lot of numbers, but for good reason. Um, so if we come down here now to the advanced stuff, dealing with stats around penalty, shooting, and things like that. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and get some additional statistics in here that uh, are going to help you for power play goals. So I went ahead and already wrote these up. However, let me unhide these with the font. So we have shots on goal average, which is going to be AA38 divided by C38. Goals for average, which will be I38 divided by C38. And then lastly, goals against average, which will be J38 divided by C38. You'll go ahead and copy and paste that information all the way down. And as always, we always like to try and get additional averages that we're going to be needing. So we'll just copy the average column into those. There we go. Now we have those additional averages and we're ready to go. And now we're going to grab goalie statistics. Goalie statistics are not hard to find or come by. There's very little we're gonna actually be doing with it when we're just copying, pasting this data out or fetching with a macro. What you can do is come up here into seasons and then just choose goalies for the season you wanna get the goalie stats from. And right here, we're just gonna go ahead and highlight all this info or macro, your choice. Grab it all, copy, move back into the goalie sheet, hit paste, control V for those on a PC. It's gonna take a second. As always, remove those links. Remove link. All right. So you're going to see some of this data where it's like doubled up, tripled up, right? Because this guy's been on three different teams doing different things. Data like that, I'm not too worried about. Often when I'm betting the NHL, if I see that there's a goalie that's not one of their more common goalies, you know, the starter or the second um, I don't want to bet that game, so I don't have to worry about John being playing on multiple teams in the season. Odds are I'm not going to even bet that game if that's what's going on. So we'll go ahead and delete this column now. All right, so now that we have that column deleted, we're going to have a bunch of pieces of data in here um, with these additional rows. So that's the only other thing you're going to want to get rid of. 
you can sort it or you can just quickly choose to just scroll through find the row and delete right so we don't need these these are just there they don't break the data it's just easier to get rid of extra rows that you don't need that are headers I always like to grab all goalies some people choose to only choose the most popular or common goalies and things like that but again, sometimes somebody that could be a backup ends up becoming a starter due to an injury. So you want to always collect all goalies and then let the games decide what you're going to actually play. So that is it for picking up the goalie information. So now throughout this uh, tutorial, we went ahead and grabbed our away and home statistics. We went ahead and grabbed our goalie statistics. We grabbed our advanced statistics. Now the final piece to this video is going to be putting these into our the final piece to these this the final piece to this video is putting in our outputs which is going to be in the outputs tab obviously so what we're going to want to do is come in here and start preparing our data we're going to be using the indirect match functions um, to find these things so first things first we need to get our teams you can grab that from the away and home just copy this row down so come up here, let's just do it from the home since it'll be easier. All right, now we have our team names. Bring those over to the outputs, put it in A2. Okay, so the first thing we wanna grab is the offensive strength from home. So we're gonna type in equals indirect away home, exclamation T, close the quote, and we're going to match it against A2 from away home. We want to put the dollar sign to lock in. So I know where these are at because I'm actually looking at my real betting sheet here um, and not this demo one that we're walking through. So you'll want to grab those. If you copied from this video, you'll have the exact same things as me. If you set them up separately and individually, you won't have the same exact things. So just be wary of that. And then we're going to go ahead and close this one and then say we're going to divide by the away home slash ex exclamation T35. And go ahead and copy it all the way down. Uh, we have all this information, which is great. And now we're going to do a very similar thing where now we're just going to actually change out the formula slightly to go ahead and grab the away. So if we come in here, all we're doing is we're going to be changing what rows this information is stored on. Um, so here I have a 39 to 70. Let's just double check that number is right. So we have all the stuff there that we need. So we'll go ahead and take this and just copy this down. Then we need to do the defense. How much do they get scored on? So in here, I'm just going to be using, again, the same range, but now I'm looking at uh, column V to match on and dividing by V35, which is our average for the league. Go ahead and copy that down. Now we're going to do this for defense away. Same thing, just modifying your formula. Enter, enter, done. Now we're going to be getting into power play goals four, and this is similar to what we did with the normal goals, but this is based around power play goals. So here we're just going to be using column Q. So it's the same formula, but we're targeting column Q. So then the next one, we need to actually be adding in um, a row addition because we need to step down those rows, right? Again, we have the advanced statistics in there. So here's the row addition. So same thing in here, make sure this is 70 or 69. And we'll say, okay, All right? Cause we're starting on row 38 to row 69, advanced stats, 38 to 69. Always double check your numbers. Sometimes the stuff can get messed up by one misclick and then you gotta do a lot more work. So the power play uh, per game, I have it at 56. If you go into advanced stats, you can actually target C38, right? Or whatever the average is. So I would just use though uh, C38 for these and whatever that row count is, right? So 
And so then we could say indirect C and match A2 from team advanced A38 to A69. And then we'll just add in that 37 as well. So now that's going to basically find us the actual number and divide by that those game counts. Okay, I needed to do some quick data scrubbing. Um, I accidentally left in the period for St. Louis and I actually messed up the formula. So the formula is actually going to be indirect equals quote team advanced exclamation C close quote and and then you finish the matchup like the other ones. Um, so that one is on me. I messed that up. I was going too quick. Uh, wasn't thinking through that one all the way. So then let's go ahead and paste in the next one here. And again, this isn't 68, it should be 70. And this one will go to 69. The reason I'm updating these is because I originally was not accounting for the Kraken because they had not enough games. So I didn't want them blowing up my stats. Um, so I just wanted to not include them, but now that they actually have enough games under their belt, I'm more than willing to start adding them in. So here, same thing, right? We're gonna go ahead and say indirect team advanced exclamation quote C and match A2 from team advanced exclamation dollar sign dollar sign 38 to dollar sign A dollar sign 69 comma zero for a perfect match then we're going to add 37 onto it for the row and we'll close that one don't forget to update this one to 69 as well otherwise you may not find your match hit enter and hit save all right and that is it now we've gone ahead and gotten these all up um, they're all there now which is great and we don't have to worry about this as much all right everybody I know that was somewhat boring it's a lot of stat collecting a lot of data scrubbing but again like I said the cleaner the data the better if you can't find numbers that you actually want to use immediately just go ahead and create your own like we did here today um, setting up the sheet first is very important before you ever start really building all these crazy models you want to have the stats that you want to use these stats I've used, I'm using far more stats in my full build, uh, but honestly, like everybody else, you don't want to just give away the keys to the castle. This predictor is pretty good. I've been using it um, without some of my additional stats in there. This current tool, the way we're building it in these videos, is hitting around 52 to 53 percent. You can always tweak this and make it better. If you have any questions or things to say about the videos or anything like that, feel free to drop them in the comments down below. Uh, if you like this content and want to keep following up for additional videos that you might find useful or helpful or that you want to suggest things, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That way you get notified as soon as I post a new video. I am slowly working through a backlog, but again, ideas are always welcome. If you can think of something you'd like me to video, go ahead and let me know and I'll go ahead and get that thing spun up as fast as I can for you. So until next time, happy wagering.